So we'll begin this news hour with the spillover of Syria's war into neighboring Lebanon. This just a day after Syria's military retook the town of Qusair with help from Hezbollah fighters. Syrian rebels are suspected of firing rockets that landed in the Baalbek region controlled by Hezbollah. Opposition rebels from Syria also crossed into Lebanon to attack Hezbollah. Fighting was reported in the same area. And in the Lebanese city of Tripoli, the Lebanese army is deployed to keep opposing communities apart. And pushing closer to Israel in the Golan Heights, Syrian troops and rebels are fighting. These are the latest pictures from there. There are reports that rebels have captured the only border crossing linking Syria to Israel. The United Nations usually mans the crossing, but it's not clear who's in control now. Rula Amin joins us now from Beirut. What's the latest word from the Golan Heights, Rula? As you said, Veronica, it's confusion. There are a l fierce battles going on around that border crossing between the government forces and the rebels. The UN peacekeepers have pulled out from that area. They are in a safe area now, so they cannot, and they're not in a place to verify exactly what's going on. The Israelis are watching from their own uh, side of the border, but they haven't been saying much lately. And what we know is that this is a very sensitive development, both for the Syrians and for the Israelis, because the Israelis have been concerned that maybe the fallout of the Syrian crisis is that they will have some jihadi radical groups along the border who might uh, contemplate attacking Israel. And the Syrian government is very adamant to keep its positions along the border. So they're bringing in more troops, fighting the rebels in many areas around that border crossing, trying to regain control. Yes, in the last um, few minutes, I've just seen reports that the Israeli military is confirming that Syrian, the Syrian militaries using tanks to push the rebels out. It looks like that is really heating up. It is heating up and uh, we even heard from some of the Syrian observatories saying that the Syrian tanks even crossed into areas they are not supposed to cross usually. It's like a no man zone uh, in around that uh, uh, along the line between Israel and, uh, and Syria. So it seems the Syrians are very determined to regain control. It's a, a, a battle that is very important for both sides. We have to remember all this is going on as the political push is still going on to convene a Geneva Convention to find a political settlement. But the violence on the ground is escalating. Thanks very much indeed, Rula Amin.